In the heart of the vast Atlantic Ocean lies a hidden paradise. Nine Portuguese islands, known as the Azores, with picture-perfect landscapes, emerge from the depths where emerald hills roll into the horizon and cliffs dramatically meet the crashing waves. A place where nature reigns supreme and time stands still. Join me on my extraordinary two-week journey visiting three islands of this captivating archipelago where adventure and tranquility harmonize in perfect balance. Welcome to the Azores. Good morning on my first day at Sao Miguel. I'm going on my first hike and it is so lovely because I am surrounded by flowers. Look how beautiful this is and this is just a road. So it's already incredible and I am so lucky because the hydrangeas are already starting to flower which is already better than I expected. So and I can already see the waterfall that I am heading to and there are, there are more waterfalls um, today but I have absolutely no clue what they will look like so it's a day full of surprises and it is not raining which is also very nice <laughs> because um, this morning it was already pouring with rain but I am positive that will be the only rain um, for today so yes let's hope so Okay, so it started to pour with rain on the other side so I decided to take the car and drive all the way up to the other end of the hike and I ended up in this magical forest area with pine trees and a path with stairs that is leading all the way down I don't know if you can see it and I hope it leads to another waterfall and something cave-like or something I don't know we'll see where I end up It is so lush and I'm the only one here just how I like it turned out 
out the rest of the path was through the river and I was not wearing the right shoes for it, so I had to return. It was only the first day, so I did not make a big problem of it and decided to drive to the west side of the island. You could say that today hasn't been very successful so far, because that is what the Azores are. The weather is so unpredictable. <laughs> I have come to um, the part where you can find Sete Cidades and a whole lot of other things and it is way more high up and this is the result. I am up in the clouds and it is really really foggy so you can't see that much but I found this which is pretty cool so I'm going to explore and yeah Let's see. The Muro das Nove Janelas, or the Wall of the Nine Windows, is part of what is left of the aqueduct built between the 17th and 18th century to pass water from the Canario Lake area to Ponta Delgada, the capital of the islands. The sun came out so I went for a quick visit to the Canario Lake and the viewpoint because this place gets too crowded during the day. And then I went to Ponta Delgada to finish this beautiful first day at Sao Miguel. Cabrito. Um, those who have watched my first series of the Azores um, of uh, 2015 know how I reached this waterfall and it was quite impressive. Now it was way easier to reach this waterfall because I just drove here. Now there is a parking lot but it is a very beautiful waterfall. It is in two steps. I don't know if you can see the top right over here because it is a bit dark but it's a very cool waterfall and I have it all to myself because it is still a bit early here but I'm glad I'm here not hike um, to Salto do Cabrito um, I drove down and it is very challenging because it is a road with hairpins and it is like a steepness of 45 degrees so wish me good luck to go back up because it has been it has been a while and let's hope this baby can handle it and let's hope I can handle it and I'm pretty sure I'm going to scream when I'm back up <laughs> because yeah it's going to be a challenge so Wish me good luck and let's hope I can reach the top. Let's go! <laughs> 
I am such a badass. I did it like it was nothing. <laughs> I don't know how I do it because I never drive a car in Belgium. Maybe like five times a year. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm such a good driver. I rolled. <laughs> and so I drove to Lagoa do Fogo before I returned to the airport to continue my journey to the next island, Terceira. But that is for the next episode. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and to subscribe so you won't miss out on the next videos. Thanks for watching!